The original Unix shell, called SH, short for, shell, is also known as the Bourne shell after its creator, Stephen Bourne. It was introduced in 1970s as part of the seventh edition of Unix developed at Bell Labs. Although SH is considered basic by today's standards, it was quite advanced then. The Bourne shell has simple command line editing features. You can type characters, delete them one at a time using the backspace key, and press enter to run the command. If you make a mistake, pressing Ctrl C will cancel the entire command. Despite its simplicity, the Bourne shell supports variables and scripting, making it useful for automating tasks, especially in system administration. For many years, the Bourne shell was the only option for interacting with Unix systems. Eventually, other shells like the C shell, CSH, were developed as alternatives to the Bourne shell. The C shell, created by Bill Joy at the University of California at Berkeley, was named because its syntax is similar to the C programming language, according to the official documentation. The C shell quickly became popular and was the default shell on Unix systems that came from the Berkeley Software Distribution, BSD, versions of Unix. The C shell added useful features to the older Bourne shell, such as the ability to recall and reuse previous commands. This feature is handy when you need to run multiple commands for a task. Two common C shell commands are, which runs the last command again, and, dollar, which inserts the last argument of the previous command. The C shell was an important part of the BSD version of Unix. It was so popular that many users preferred BSD Unix over the official Unix from AT&T. During this time, AT&T created an alternative to the C shell called the Corn shell. When AT&T developed System V Unix, they realized they needed a shell with features similar to the C shell. David Korn, at AT&T Bell Laboratories, created the Korn shell, KSH, to meet this need. The Korn shell offered the same enhancements as the C shell but had one major advantage, it was backward compatible with the older Bourne shell. This means that the Korn shell could run most Bourne shell scripts, unlike the C shell, which had a completely new syntax. Commercial Unix users had access to the Korn shell, but users of free Unix versions did not because there was no free version of the Korn shell. This created problems because scripts written for the Korn shell wouldn't work on free versions of Unix. Many organizations used both commercial and free Unix versions, leading to issues where a script worked on one system but not another. This was a big problem for Unix administrators because the idea of open systems, especially promoted by Unix, was that programs should run on any Unix or Unix-like system. But different shells on different Unix versions made this difficult. To help solve this problem, Eric Gissen wrote a free version of the Corn shell, called PDKSH, Public Domain Corn Shell, which became popular. The Corn shell was very popular on proprietary Unix systems, but Linux, a free Unix-like operating system, grew faster than expected. Linux users wanted a shell with advanced features like the Corn shell but also needed it to be open source. This led to the creation of Bash, a shell that became widely used in the Linux community. Users needed a shell that could run Bourne shell scripts but also had advanced features like command line editing. They also wanted a shell that was free and not tied to any proprietary licenses. This led to the creation of Bash, also known as the Born Again shell. Bash includes features like command line editing, similar to the Corn shell, and file name completion, like the C shell, along with many other advanced options. Bash has become the most popular shell and is the default shell on both Linux and Mac OS X systems. Linux systems helped make the TC shell, or TCSH, well known. TCSH is an improved version of the older C shell, CSH, and adds features like command editing and file name completion. For instance, in TCSH, when you press the tab key, it will complete file and directory names, a feature that was not available in the original C shell. TCSH is mostly backward compatible with the C shell, meaning it can run most C shell scripts without issues. Over time, several other shells have been developed, each with its own loyal users. Some of these include ASH, ZSH, and RC. 
The Z shell, or ZSH, is particularly popular for interactive use. It offers many advanced features for handling wildcards, file listings, directories, and paths. These features are especially useful on Unix or Linux systems, which typically have complex directory structures. During a time when Unix vendors aimed to compete with Windows for desktop users, they developed graphical extensions for shells, particularly the corn shell. The Common Desktop Environment, CDE, was created as a standard desktop experience for Unix, combining efforts from companies like Hewlett Packard and Sunday. However, CDE didn't gain much traction. Later, Mac OS X's Aqua UI, and Linux's GNOME and KDE desktops allowed Unix systems to better compete with Windows. One outcome of the CDE project was DTKSH, a version of the corn shell that lets you create windows, menus, and dialogues using shell commands. Another similar shell is TKSH, which integrates the TK graphical toolkit with the corn shell, allowing graphical commands while maintaining corn shell syntax. That's all about this tutorial, see you in the next one.